Hi, I'm Johnny Bradstein. Welcome to Views from the Mix, your number one source for headline news the way I see it. Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, was arrested, and if you haven't been following his character arc, it mirrors that of Lando Calrissian. At first you were cool, then you weren't, then you were again, then we saw a younger version of you that was skateboarding and playing soccer indoors, and now you just look like an old man that's out of place. President Trump announced today that he wants to ship all illegal immigrants seeking asylum to sanctuary cities. Because, you know, the best way to keep immigrants out of your country is to push them further into your country. And on the flip side, all these sanctuary cities who at first were like, hey, why are you being mean to the Mexicans? We like them, are now like, we don't like them that much. Bernie Sanders released his tax returns showing that he made over a million dollars in recent years and was faced with immediate scrutiny from people who apparently forgot he was Jewish. That's the first thing you get when you Google Jewish money. It's actually making me uncomfortable. Can we change the graphic? That's better. The Church of Notre Dame caught on fire this week, sparking an uptick in Quasimodo memes, to which everybody under the age of 21 responded, Who? In sports news, Russell Wilson recently signed a $140 million four-year contract with the Seattle Seahawks, putting him in a group of elite, prestigious athletes who also don't deserve it. And finally, Game of Thrones came back last weekend, but what's more important is what it brought back with it. The go-ahead to make fun of kids in wheelchairs again. I'm Johnny Bradsfane. This has been Views from the Mix. See you next week.